Hello everyone and welcome back to Plenty of the Geeks. Today we're going to take a look at some more Stargrave things that have come out. Uh, we're going to have a look at some of the models and we're going to have a look at the Quarantine 37 book which is here. But we will take a quick look at that. Um, we'll take a look at the models first that have come out uh, recently. So these are all the metal models that have been released so far. The ones that have started to paint are the ones from the Kickstarter um, and then the other metal ones are the ones, sorry, the next starter not Kickstarter. Um, and I've started to paint those, are not finished so don't judge them please. Um, but they are on bases and I have started to paint them. So those ones will be the ones that were included in that, uh, sans the loop markers. And then uh, the rest of them are the ones they brought out as a set to make up all the models that have come out. Um, so I'll just go through them quickly we can look at these models uh, obviously they're just metal models not for sticking together and they're not on bases yet um, so we'll start here with the biomorph models so most of the models are really good um, there's a few like this one that has a very slight miscast on it now if you can see it there's a line it's just it's a couple of millimeters out of line a little bit of a filing We'll sort that out. Um, that's, I forgot what metal models are right really, it's been a while, <laughs> but uh, that's one of the things about them. So this is one of the biomorphs, and then this is the other biomorph model. So you can buy these in sets of two, um, for six English pounds or whatever your um, exchange rate is. Those are the two biomorphs. Next to of the cyborgs. So we have this female cyborg, looks like her arms have been replaced with boxing, metal boxing gloves, metal arms. Uh, there's also a lot of flash on these, I've just seen a bit of though. So you, if you get these you need to uh, take all that off and then you always miss bits. Uh, but she's pretty awesome. And then the other cyborg kind of looks a lot more like a Borg cyborg, to be fair, his entire arm is a gun. Um, but he's also pretty cool. And next up, we have uh, the Mystics. So, this is the, this will be the first one that was from the Kickstarter. Nearly finished painting, but um, kind of like this model. Kind of reminds me of Revan a little bit, but uh, that light saber. But this is a mystic, so uh, I didn't realize this was a mystic. I thought it was going to be a rogue, to be honest. But no, it's down as a mystic. And then we have this guy who is obviously a uh, a knight of the, uh, the order of the force of the light, most likely. Maybe not necessarily, but yeah, this is a really cool model too. Then we have Mystic Set 2. Again, I didn't realise this was a Mystic. I thought this guy might have been a Biomorph. But yeah, he's all teethy. And then the other Mystic. His spear's got a little bit bent. Or Force Weapon, or whatever it is. There he is. Also, again, not finished. But those two were actually in the, uh, the next starter. And if I say it's Kickstarter, I'm sorry. I keep I keep getting mixed up. Uh, next up, we have the Psion Assists, psychic ones. So there we go. And the new one also comes with a gun, as well as probably some psychic powers. Then we have the robotic experts. She's like scanning. She sort of reminds me of a female version of Vegon. It kind of looks like a Ghostbuster, really, to be honest. If she had the. Like, it's almost a proton pack. It's almost. And then with the other guy. Also cool. Next up we have the Rogues. This guy. He's a rogue. I can't wait to get his finished painting actually. 
Um, I've just been delayed while painting them unfortunately. Hopefully I'll get them finished soon. This is the other rogue. And next we have the Tackers. So this one might be my favourite of the models because he looks like a proper space model. <laughs> but uh yeah. I don't know whether that would uh, constitute combat armour or not, but he is cool. And actually, I quite like this guy as well. He sort of reminds me of like a, a gruff captain. He's the other tacker. And then um, next up, we have the veterans. This guy definitely looks like a, uh, a Sean Connery-esque character. And then this one here as well. So two veterans. And then next up I think is the hackers. Yeah, specialist soldiers next. So all those were pretty much characters. Next up we have the specialist soldiers. So we have a uh, hacker, code breaker. And then an alien hacker slash code breaker. With four arms, he's got his pad there. Quite useful in four arms, really. Next up, we have the snipers. It's one that at least appears to be human. Good camo cloak, sort of standard sort of sniper position. And then we have an alien. Sort of like a carapace he's got on him a bit. And we have the, the burners, so we have a troops model, which goes with the troops, that really, to be honest. This one comes with two different heads, but they're, they're very similar. But you could easily put one of the plastic heads on from any set you wanted, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's definitely sort of designed to go with the troopers. And then we have the hairy dude with the bionic arm. He's kind of like a, a poor man's Wookiee, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, he's got a flamethrower as well. And then we have the medics. So, this is one of the medics. And then the one with the next starter. Some of them I was trying to paint like the one, more, some the sort of pictures in the book, and some of them are just like freestyling. So there's no real uh, pattern tower on painting them. Um, but a lot of the models, you'll see versions in the book, the main row book, that you can see that inspired the model, or inspired the artwork, whichever came first. Uh, so we also have the dogs. So we have the, the alien hound. And then we have robotic hound. And then... Uh, Armoured Hound. They're all really cool. I'm probably still going to use the one I got. I don't know if I ever showed that one off. Uh, this one was from Crooked Dice. And uh, this one is fully painted. It is the one of the Crooked Dice models. It reminds me of the Borderlands Mutts or Hounds. But it looks pretty awesome. as an alien dog kind of thing. So another few sets have come out as well uh, to go with the, specifically with the Quarantine 37 book. Uh, these uh, are Plague Zombies. So there's two sets of Plague Zombies. So set one is these three Plague Zombies. So these are kind of metal zombie versions of the crew set. I think it's the crew set, or are these guys like the mercenary set? It's hard to tell, it's kind of like a crew and then some of the things are like mercenary, but kind of standard civilians who've been turned into zombies. Then there's a second set. Um, I'd say probably, I don't know, it's hard to tell. Because they look more like the mercenaries, those two anyway. 
but this guy kind of looks like a crew member. Yeah, so that's set two with these three in. Um, sort of standard zombies, but they do go with the, the style of the models. And you could use any zombie you wanted, really. Um, even like Games Workshop um, plague zombies. Um, but these ones sort of go with the plastics if you've already got them. And set three is actually troopers, zombies. These are definitely troopers. So this guy's like dragging his uh, he's going along. This guy's got a shotgun. And then the oh, this guy, even as a zombie, seems to be attempting to fire. Maybe randomly. Maybe he's figured out how to use a trigger or remembered. So there's those ones. And then the final one is the bloater. Who is a uh, zombie spaceman. Kind of obviously based on this guy. But he doesn't have the backpack. But he is more bloated. <laughs> so there we go. So those are the new metal models that have come out um, for Stargrave. Uh, I'm looking forward to painting them all. They're all really cool. I've, I've actually got a lot of uh, sort of models from different companies. I like the Crooked Dice one. Uh, I also got some from uh, Frostgrave, and I got these. Bef these are actually on the website now as well as like a set to use in Stargrave. But I ordered these before that, so I've actually got two of these guys to use as some of the monsters because I think they, they look alien enough to actually be in Frostgrave or Stargrave to be honest, these things just are freaky and some of the stuff that's actually in the book like the the Warpounds and the, and the Mantis as well this guy so I ordered some of those to, to, to use in the game so, so I've been painting those, I've been doing a lot of painting and I've got some of the other cultists and stuff to make some pirates too. So that's what I've been doing with the Stargrove. But uh, we'll also take a look at this Quarantine 37 book. Um, so let me move these uh, models out of the way and then we'll look at the book. Okay guys, so Quarantine 37. So this is the first um, add-on for Stargrove. Um, so let's see what we're actually getting for our add-on. We're getting uh, two new Backgrounds, we've got the Aristocrat and the Hunter, and some new powers, and we're getting some new soldiers, we're getting a Gunfighter, Mule, Keybot, Ravage, Ravage Trooper, Trophy Taker, and then Victims of the Hastings Plague, which is the plague that's going around, and then some uh, Rules on Pings, which are, when I had a quick look at it, kind of reminds me of Aliens, where they've got the little... Uh, sort of auspex type scanner thing and the scanning and the little pings are coming up on it going bing, bing, bing. and it's like we don't know what's around the corner we don't know quite know how many there are but be afraid and then we, the rest of the book is mainly scenarios uh, the shuffling dead straight from the shadows and then there's some going solo rules as well which is similar to the rules I haven't read through them whether they're exactly the same as the free rules they gave away but um, there's the uh, going solo rules and then we have chapter 6, which is another set of scenarios back to the ship. Um, and then the rest of it is like the technology and the rules for that. So let's have a very quick look through. We won't spend time looking at all the scenarios, but we will have a look at these new characters. See what, uh, what they're about. So we have the aristocrat. Uh, you can see the, the blurb below. Feel free to pause the video anytime. But uh, yeah, even in a ravaged galaxy, most societies still have the aristocrats. This may be a legal designation, as in feudal societies, that comes with specific titles and special status, where it may be a de facto situation created by a small number of families holding most of the wealth. So, kind of like your standard upper class captain kind of thing. Could be an interesting character to play. Start modifications, plus one will, plus one health, and then choose one of the following, plus one will. For a total of plus two, or plus one health for a total of plus two, plus one fight, plus one shoot, and then the core powers bribe, command, concealed firearm, contacts, fortune, indifference, investments, and inspiring. There we go. Uh, when creating a crew with an aristocrat captain, 
new crew automatically add one free ship upgrade to the ship with a maximum value of 500 credits. In addition, if either the captain or first mate are aristocrats, they receive 450 credits to build a crew instead of the normal 400. And if both are, then they get 500. So there are some upfront benefits, but obviously as a crew moves on, those benefits will uh, fade a little bit. And then probably my favourite thing you see is the hunter. Because I don't know if you remember or I showed you or whatever, but I did make a Bosque-esque type crew using the Sauron models, um, like Thandotians basically. So I did have him as a soldier, but I think a hunter might be more... Um, well, he's a bounty hunter, so it would make more sense if they were hunters rather than soldiers. So I haven't actually had a chance to play those guys, I've only played the other crew so far. Um, so I might change that up a little bit. But the hunter, again, pretty much self-explanatory what a hunter is. Hunter is. Uh, but they get plus one shoot, plus one health. And she's one of the following, plus one move, plus one fight. Or plus one shoot again for a total of plus two, which makes sense. And then we've got Beast Call, Crack Shot, Camouflage, Control Animal, Power Spike, Sturdy Prey, Target Designation and Weapons Maintenance. And turn this page. Here are the new skills, new powers. Even. So the top one is uh, Beast Call. Here we go. And then we've got Crack Shot and Contacts. Indifference and inspiring. And then we've got investments. And uh, oh, that's, that's, that'd be a good one to have with your uh, aristocrat. The figure is a mass for making money. The crew immediately gains 50 credits. So it's just an activation out of game. So you just, you just basically just get money. Um, um, Study prey. And then we've got weapon maintenance. So. so there's some of the new skills. Looking good. So soldiers, we have the gunfighter. Which is actually pretty cool because those robots that I got, the guy kind of looks more like a gunfighter than a soldier. So I don't know whether to sort of use them as gunfighters instead. Um, I might have to do some rejigging on the points, to be fair, because some of these sound pretty cool. Then we have a mule, who's basically, what they kind of reminds me of like, what the army has now, those, well, where he's working on those robot dog type things to carry stuff. Then we have the Cubot. Um, who's basically for running in and grabbing loot. And then we have the Ravaged. So it's somebody who survived the zombie plague. Because apparently one in ten people can survive it. And we have Ravaged Troopers and the Trophy Takers. I don't know what well, well, the Bosque-esque crew, crew that I'm building. And then we have Details on Hastings Plague, so this is all the, the background law now. Uh, and I'll, I'll think about the pings as well. Let's see. It's kind of sort of like a random that turns up, so sort of one worker bug. I wonder if they'll do models for these bugs where they'll just have to buy some aliens or just use some nids. Um, hmm. Then we have the scenarios. So I'm not going to dwell on the scenarios. Uh, we have the, the Shuffling Dead ones. And then we have some cool artwork as well in the middle there. Strike from the Shadows. And there's a picture of the dude as well that we got. Those look pretty cool in those colours, I'm not trying to paint them actually. 
I might switch the orange for yellow. Come on. And then the going solo rules. Yeah, I did notice that with the going solo rules, it does also suggest um, cooperative play as well. Be able to co-op scenarios. A bit like in core space. Should be cool. There we go. There's a little bit on cooperative play. I kind of like that idea. And it will interest Claire. Might be able to get Claire to uh, play this. We've got scenarios like the Queen's Chamber. It's like, yeah, this is definitely going down the aliens route. <laughs> now we have some advanced techs. And an advanced tech table. Bombs, climbing gloves, chrome bin virus. So I have to look into all this when I get a chance. Incendiary ammunition, nice. And beastery. So we have bugs, acid spewer bug. I mean, the picture there is of the uh, dude up there, but um, yeah, I'm not thinking that kind of bugs. Maybe even like Starship Trooper bugs might work, but um, yeah, I'm thinking aliens, especially with one called a queen. And then we have warriors bugs, worker bugs, and the bloater zombie. Plague zombies and soldier zombies. So the soldier zombies aren't just different versions, they're actually different models. They've actually got different rules. They actually do come with carbines. Right, so they can still shoot. Even though it's plus shoot zero, so they got the carbines. Whereas no one do don't. That's quite interesting actually, I thought they were just different models, but they've actually got different rules too, that's cool. And uh, yeah, that is the, the Quarantine 37 book. I don't want to dwell on the scenarios because I think you should get it yourself if you're interested. For me the, the biggest interest is the new characters and stuff that we can add to it. That's going to be cool. Um, and hopefully they'll do some models of those as well, because I quite like the models. They look quite nice and retro -y. As I said, there's a few issues with metal model in general uh, and clipping off of things and you just got to be careful of like fingers. One thing I didn't say about this guy is the, the arms actually do come separate. Uh, but all the other models apart from the flamer with the two heads is just one piece models. But uh, yeah, it's uh, just a case of tightening up the metal. Uh, filing down any bits where there's... Um, a bit of a miscast on a couple of them, but it's not a massive one. Uh, some of the joints are quite small. It's kind of more the joints you'd expect on maybe plastic models or resin models. But it's it's like this the sniper gun's quite weak, so that is quite bendy. Or was quite bendy. Um so if you do get any of these, just be careful with things like that, because that could easily snap off. It's a bit of a pain to glue metal back on because it, it bends as opposed to just snaps. It's not impossible, and I'd probably, if it does do it, I'd probably pin it. Um, that'd be my advice. But other than that, they're pretty cool. So that is the Stargrave models. Um, hopefully, going to get some games in soon, maybe on camera if you want to see that, put in the comments. Um, and I want to get these models painted, so I might show them off once they are done. Uh, I did intend on doing like a showcase one because I have painted the crews that I have and some of the monsters that I got and I wanted to show them off as well because I got them from various companies um, which I just want to do in a future video uh, I got some from Die Hard Miniatures uh, Miniatures, sorry Stand me up there Oof, like an old man and I got a Swamp Dragon It's not a Swamp Dragon on the website uh, but this guy, and he's a resin, 
<laughs> I really like him. Um, really cool model. And the uh, description of this, like, they've put an alligator on the website, and it kind of is like an alligator, but this guy's probably like massive alligator size, but he's actually a dragon, and actually looks like he. Um, I think he is called a swamp dragon. I think it's a sewer dragon in Stargrave. But yeah. So I've got some cool models like that to show off, and I want to get that one finished too. But uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. In addition, I've also got a core space video to do, and it's the Black Star Rising and Wanted Dead or Alive expansions. So that's going to be coming up very soon, because uh, I'm going to do the unboxing for that. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, please like and subscribe, and hopefully we'll see you again soon, guys. Bye for now.